G'day and welcome to the Dropship Zone drop-in session for new retailers. My name is John Barkle and I'm the General Manager here at Dropship Zone and it's my pleasure to welcome you to this drop-in session and to the platform. To begin with, we acknowledge the traditional owners of the land in which we broadcast here today, the Wurundjeri people of the Kulin Nation, and we pay respects to elders past, present and emerging. And may we also extend our respects to First Nations people joining us on this drop-in session. Now today, you're going to learn about the Dropship Zone platform, but the key theme is peak season. We're entering the busiest time for e-commerce. And so me and the team will be taking you through all of the things that you need to do from marketing, operations, and after sales to be able to have a successful peak season. Dropship Zone has been around since 2012 when our founders discovered a gap in the market. You see, online retailers that are small to medium class have trouble getting good product at good pricing because they don't subscribe to the wholesale model. There's all kinds of barriers of entry there. But Dropship Zone offers you a turnkey platform to get access to over 100,000 products at good prices. This means that you don't need to focus on product sourcing and you can focus on doing what you should be good at good retailing, good customer service, and great marketing. Dropship Zone is here to help. Now, over today's session, we'll take you through the platform and how it works, and we'll also give you the tips and tricks to ensuring that you are prepared from an operational perspective for peak season. Then we're going to add marketing into the mix and talk about all things that you need to do to make your sale events as attractive as possible and attract the right customers to your websites. And then we're gonna go through and do a deep dive of all the hottest suppliers and products that we think will be necessary for you to adopt to have a successful peak season. We hope you enjoy. Okay, first up, we're on to the Dropship Zone platform overview. I'm joined by Sammy, our Head of Retail. Thanks for joining us, Sammy. Thank you, John. Okay, so how does Dropship Zone work? So Dropship Zone is a B2B2C marketplace that connects our retailers with our suppliers. Suppliers upload products to Dropship Zone, retailers list the product onto their website. Whenever the end customer places an order with us, retailers send us the order, the suppliers will send the order directly from the warehouse to the end consumer's address. It's heading into peak season now, and it's obviously important to make sure that we have our wallet topped up. What is the wallet and how can our retailers top it up? Yeah, so wallet is the newly introduced um, features. So the wallet features allow you to top up by bank transfer, as long as you put our money via pay ID or to our bank account details, which listed on our website, our, our team will top up the credits and put it into your account to use towards each of your orders. And what are the timeframes for delivering that uh, top up? So whenever you top up with us, the account will be top up within one business day. Um, we will operate until 8 p.m. So any amounts that is top up before 8 p.m. daily basis will be top up um, before that. And that's Monday to Friday? Yes, that's only on Monday to Friday. And on the weekend, we are doing once a day. It can be in the morning, it can be in the afternoon. It depends on when the team gets into it. Very good. Thanks, Sammy. Now, our retailers are itching to get started. We have a huge catalogue of more than 100,000 products. How can they find the products that they want to sell to their customers? So we recently did an upgrade onto our platform on our product catalogues by introducing a new taxonomy. With the new taxonomy, it's easily for you to find a product with three different levels of subcategories. So you can head to categories, subcategories or sub-subcategories to find the products you need. On top of that, we also introduce a lot of filters on the side for you to find the products you need. For example, free shipping, New Zealand shipping, direct import, or a different price range, as well as different product categories. That's the big change is we've benched out now to a third level of category in order to be able to expose more of those products. Yes, and um, you can also change um, by putting it the newly arrived date. So it's... Um, you can see what's coming in new and then you have an edit onto your store and make sure you're adding into your store as well. We also send out weekly emails with newly launched products. So retailers should really be looking in their inbox for that, for that as well. Yes, we have an email notification sent to our retailers on a weekly basis. Otherwise, you can head to the retail portal and you can find all the information, including system update, product update, price update, etc. And for all the nuanced questions for our retailers will inevitably want to be able to ask, what is the best way to get help and support from our team? 
So obviously heading to our website, to our Learn Center, it's one of the best way. We got a lot of the YouTube videos to help you and guide you how to use the system. The user guide actually have a very detailed page of every single things that you need from placing an order, heading to payment to customer service that can help you using the platform. Alternatively, you can always contact your account managers to help you answer any questions you need. That's great, Sammy. And as we know, things can be delayed, things can go wrong. I think a couple of years ago with all the floods that happened in um, northern New South Wales and in Queensland, we had courier de delays and things like that. So um, what's the advice around um, in what our retailers should do when they experience these kind of delays? So usually our platform do offer SLA of one to two business day dispatch. But in peak season, we do suggest you to um, allowed us for three to four days, which is a very common practice. Um, so because of the high volume, every party needs to cater for more workload, and even our suppliers need to um, cope with the larger amount of orders. If you manage your customer's expectation to three to four days, it will help to manage all the dispatch or delivery issues uh, from the courier service. Thanks, Sammy. So John, I've got a question for you. Can you please talk about the ninth law in newly introduced in Queensland? Ah, uh, yes, there is new uh, there is new legislation that's been introduced into Queensland. It came into effect in September, um, which places new conditions on retailers, whether they be brick and mortar or online, um, to retailers that are selling knives. It's really important that online retailers are aware of their obligations if they are drop shipping knives to Queensland addresses. For more information, you can go to the Queensland government's website relating to the new knife laws or to the website of the Queensland Police Service. It's very important that you understand what you can and can't do when it comes to retailing knives online. That's very helpful. Thank you, John. No problems. Thank you, Sammy. Appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, and now on to all things marketing for peak season. You'll note that the, there is a common theme to this drop-in session, which is getting ready for peak season. And I'm joined by our marketing manager, Chloe, who's gonna give you all the tips and tricks to make peak season from a marketing perspective, a massive success. Thank you, Chloe. Thanks for having me, John. So what are some things that our new retailers can do to plan for peak season? Well, if this is your first peak season, then congratulations. I do hope you've set your store up and are ready to start selling. If not, then not to stress, you still have time to set yourself up for a fantastic peak season. Today, I'm gonna to go through some tips, tricks, and must-dos so you have all the tools and information to set yourself up for a fantastic peak season. So, what should our retailers be doing before peak season? Before peak season, you must prepare, prepare, prepare. Peak season can be stressful at the best of times, and if you come into it unprepared, it can add an extra layer of stress that can easily be avoided. So I'll start off with some tips for the pre-peak season. Number one, think about when you are going to sell. Now, this might sound really obvious, but it is really important to plan out your big sale events. Um, you need to have a clear idea of when the main e-commerce events are. So I recommend utilizing an e-commerce calendar. Ozpost do a great uh, e-commerce calendar and it's a great tool to use all year round. Some important dates to note are Black Friday to Cyber Monday, so that's November 29th to December the 2nd, and then Boxing Day, which is the 26th of December, as we all know. Um, I will also note that from now till about mid-December, consumers are going to be purchasing Christmas products, which brings me to my next point. Think about what it is you want to sell. So think about trending products and trending categories. Research what categories sell well during Christmas and peak season, um, and research what products should be discounted for these sales events. It's almost a no brainer because we all shop for Christmas. So those are the sort of categories and that kind of insight will feed into the, those product selections. A hundred percent. And the next thing that you want to think about pre-peak season is where you're going to sell it, or how you're going to sell it. So your channel strategy. Have a think about whether you're going to be selling through Google Merchant. And if you are, maybe think about whether you want to supplement your organic listings with some paid advertising. True, because being a new website, they won't have many organic listings yep. available. Mm -hmm. If this is something that you want to think about, so paid advertising, you need to set aside some budget for that. So what about social channels as well? Yep, so social channels is another great one. Um, additionally to this, and like I said before, think about supplementing your organic listings with some paid advertising. 
Uh, if this is something that you're going to do, again, you need to set aside some budget for this. What about um, our retailers that may already have an existing database that they can tap into? Yep, so if you have an existing database, that is great. Um, think about email marketing. So think about designing EDMs that pack a punch. Um, speaking of emails, you might wanna consider setting up some abandoned cart emails. So 44% uh, of abandoned cart emails are opened and almost 30% of those lead to a recovered sale. So setting up an abandoned cart email or abandoned cart journeys can really make or break your peak season. Mm. How else can they promote this element? If you've just set up your website or your online store and you don't have a database, you can think about other ways to promote your sale event. So through your own website, think about banners, think about making use of your homepage, um, think about what you can promote on there in terms of uh, promotions and sales. It's really about engaging that traffic that comes to the website. A hundred percent. For those that are selling on marketplaces, you can also make use of your product listings. So now is a great time to update your product listings if you haven't already. Think about um, updating the content and then also think about your product imagery and how you can update that and make it look more appealing. So it's showtime. What are we doing during peak season? So one of the things that I recommend during peak season is checking your stock levels because there's nothing worse than offering a great discount on an out of stock mm. product. Um, Sammy mentioned this before, but I will reiterate it again. Set a stock buffer if you can, or if you know that a product sells really well during peak season, Think about potentially bulk buying that SKU. Your account manager can help with that or you can visit our bulk purchase page as well on the website. No one wants to be disappointed at Christmas. No. And pricing, what would be the pricing strategy you recommend? So you gotta make sure your pricing is right. Dropship Zone recently did a report with Inside Retail called Mastering the Art of Retail Promotion in 2024. And in this report, we found that 80% of consumers surveyed indicated that they actually wait for the best price before purchasing, so peak season. Um, this really highlights the need for competitive pricing and enticing discounts to attract value conscious shoppers. Right, so value conscious shoppers is a particular behavioral segmentation where they're seeking out uh, the value on price. Yep. And in today's day and age, consumers are getting smarter. They have all the different tools to alert them when there's price drops. They're tracking the prices as well. So you really need to make sure your pricing and your discounts are attractive. And what about promotions? What can we do with them? So like I said before, consumers are looking for good deals during peak season. So make sure whatever promos you have running are gonna cut through the noise. Um, if you're gonna offer a percentage off, make sure it's worthwhile. 5%, 10%, it doesn't cut it during peak season. They really want those big savings. That's what they wait year round for. 100%. Okay, so you are now getting closer and closer to the Christmas day, you're feeling relaxed maybe, but what should our retailers keep in mind in terms of marketing after peak season? Yeah, so it's not actually over peak season. I'm, I'm sorry to disappoint you all. You really need to keep that ball rolling. So one of the ways that you can do this is remarketing to your existing customer database. So think about CRM marketing. So building the database during peak season, segmenting that database, engaging or re-engaging with that database after peak season, and then extracting sales from the database. That's super. So Chloe, you've put together a bit of a marketing checklist for peak season. Would you like to share that with our new retailers? Yeah, so I know that was a lot of information to sort of throw at you all, but I've come up with a bit of a simple checklist. So before peak season, you wanna determine the dates of the sale event. You wanna select the products that you're going to sell, and you wanna choose a mix of paid and organic channels to market your promotion to new and existing customers. You also wanna make sure that your analytics tracking, and if you have Facebook Pixel, that they're all working and firing correctly before peak season. Um, and you also want to think about reducing friction to conversion. So that's having too many steps at checkout or not providing enough payment options yep. for them to be able to complete that purchase. hundred percent. Just think about yourself as a consumer. Like you want to be able to have the easy process from adding to cart and then checking out. You don't want all of the noise in between. And I believe that Shopify, they have a lot of materials around reducing that sort of friction to conversion. Yep, they do. Definitely. Um, during peak season, you want to keep an eye on stock levels. So use the stock buffer like Sammy mentioned or think about bulk purchasing. And you want to make sure that your promotion and pricing is attractive. I know I've said it time and time again, but consumers, 
they are looking for big deals. They're looking for the big discounts. You wanna make sure that your promotion is attractive. One of the advantages of selling online, and many of your competitors will be doing this and are very good at it, is making sure that the pricing is always at its best. And they do this daily, sometimes hourly, changing the, and updating the price to stay ahead of the competition. You can do this through just simply searching for the product on Google Shopping. Mm -hmm. And then after peak season, you want to focus on remarketing and re-engaging with your consumer database. And this is through email? Yeah, through email, um, paid social as well. I mean, you can really use the data that you collect during peak season to then target customers after. Uh, this is through sort of custom audiences, uploading those email addresses into the meta business center and being able to retarget. Correct, yeah. That's my checklist. Happy peak season. Happy selling. Chloe's very excited for peak season and you should be too. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Bye guys. Okay, we're now on to hot products and hot suppliers and dropping it like it's hot, it's Alistair, our head of marketplace. Thanks for dropping in, mate. Yeah, good day, everyone. Thanks for having me again. So what have you got for us today? We're diving into all things peak season. So to kick things off from the marketplace team, let's start by looking back at the top three selling categories from last peak season. Coming in at third place, we have the Christmas category. From tiny baubles to three metre inflatable Santas, we've got everything you need for the festive season. We've also recently added several new supplies to fill out the Christmas category. That's Christmas, but uh, I think you've got something for us in baby and kids as well. I do, so baby and kids comes in at second place. Outdoor play equipment is best on field for this category with a great range of jungle gyms, play centers and cubby houses. This category was a top performer last peak season and continues to drive category growth. Search V420 to see their great product range and start adopting some of their products today. And I know you've got a little bit of an Olympics theme going here, so what's your gold medal? Look, coming in first place for the gold medal, we've actually got a tie, home and garden and furniture. Home and Garden is a huge category with something for every end customer. It's been in the top two categories on Dropship Zone since Dropship Zone's inception and continues to grow month on month. Plus, peak season is where shoppers are willing to splurge more on high ticket furniture items and we have you covered. Pick up some high margin furniture before the rush and kick some goals. Stick around, I've got some top furniture picks to share with you shortly. That's great, Al, but what about some products that our retailers can start adopting right now? Yep, so I've uh, made my own recommendations list and we'll run through that now. It's almost time to get the decorations out and get prepared for the biggest holiday of the season, Christmas. Let's have a look at some of the great supplier products to get you started. We have this three meter inflatable Santa, which has already started flying off the L's. Oh my God. Get your bling on with 20 meters of LED rope light, sure to impress the neighbors. We have solar reindeer path lights to guide Santa's sleighing. We have this Christmas TV music box, which will keep both the kids and the adults entertained. And we also have a traditional Christmas wreath to proudly display on the front door. We have thousands of products to suit every need. Just how many puns are you gonna be doing in this presentation? At least 932. Tell me you got kids without telling me you got kids. Exactly. Now with the big holiday approaching, it's time to get ready for some outdoor adventures. V888 has come to the party and have these great camping products with exceptional margins and a large variety. Whether you're having a fish or sitting around a campfire, this camping chair is sure to increase your relaxation. V888 also has some high-end chairs fit for a more glamping experience. We have this high-end camping cart, but we also have some more budget-friendly carts fit for purpose like this one. They have a large range of tents to suit every family. They have this quality automatic tent. They have this hexagonal tent, which will set you apart from the other campers. And my favorite tent from their range, this two-in-one tent plus canopy. Now, if you can't manage to get away for a camping trip, why not set a pool up in the backyard? V183 has a great range of pools and these three are no exception. We have this five meter long pool fit for a large family, this octagonal pool, and this large rectangular pool, which only takes one hour to set up and start filling with water. I feel like it's gonna be a hot summer. 
It is gonna be a very hot summer, so be sure to pick up a pool as soon as possible. Now, let's jump into some furniture recommendations. V43 have a very unique range of furniture and beds with exceptional quality, starting with this beautiful oak colored entertainment unit. They have these super comfy spring coil knitted fabric mattresses and this stunning high quality royal bed frame to suit. They have a three seater button tufted lounge in beige or this very unique black velvet three seater. V43 have been long term suppliers to the marketplace and are a trusted supplier by our retailers. They do great bulk order discounts as well, so please reach out for a bulk order quote for even bigger margins. I also wanna quickly highlight these two high ticket electronic desks from V563. They offer big margins and are top quality. Moving on to some tech that always sells best through peak season. Check out these computers from V743. They offer brand new and refurbished, so be sure to check out their full range. These Apple iMacs sell out fast, so get them onto your SKU list ASAP. We also have these entry-level Dell Latitude laptops fit for school or uni. And here's a look at one of their refurbished iMacs with guaranteed quality and a one-year warranty. Now, Al, I know you've got some pet products. I've just got a cat, so what have we got? Look, we've got a really big range and V888 have you covered for your pet product needs. For the cat lovers out there, we have this top of the line intelligent cat litter box, which offers massive margins. Stick into the cats, give them one of these starfish and butterfly teaser toys for Christmas. Give your pets fresh water every day with these automatic water dispensers. They are top quality and at entry level prices, both under $33. They have automatic feeding dispensers, pet drying boxes, and portable pet water feeding bottles when you're on the go. And yes, they even have a dog puzzle. Jump on and check out their entire range. Now, Al, we've mentioned V888 a few times. They are unique, and why is that? Yeah, look, I'm very excited to announce the launch of our direct import products uh, that have now hit Dropship Zone's marketplace. We've expanded our range with tons of new products across key categories, from pet supplies, home and garden, kids toys, camping gear, and so much more. This means more options for your customers and greater opportunities for you to grow your business. These products will be shipped directly from the factory to your end customer. And Al, um, what are the delivery expectations around these products that are direct import? Yep, so the delivery is expected to take between one to two weeks after dispatch, and each product listing will give you all the details that you need. But the dispatch SLA still remain in place? It does, there's no change there. It's still two day dispatch. And we haven't compromised on quality here, have we? No, we certainly have not. These items have been tested to make sure that they meet high standards and they all come with a very low faulty rate. They come with very competitive prices allowing you to boost your margins without compromising on quality. And low stock numbers will never be a problem again as all products have over a thousand in stock at any given time. To explore their full range, just search V888 or keep an eye out for the direct import label. And remember, we're always adding more direct import products, so be sure to check back often for the latest offerings. Wow, that's a lot, Our Peak season's gonna be huge this year and you and your team are gonna be very busy. We are, we're flat out bringing you bigger and better products, so stay tuned. <laughs>